I really doubt that there are people who have an Xbox or even playing on a PC that don't know what Game Pass is. It's everywhere and everyone is talking about the Game Pass and everyone seems to simply love it. But is it really a good way to play games? Is it really that worth it? And should you actually buy Game Pass or not? Well, I've been using Game Pass Ultimate for both PC and an Xbox for around a year now. And in this video, we're going to be discussing whether it is worth it to buy. And well, if it is, what's in what way it is worth to buy? And if it's not, in what way it is not? So let's discuss Game Pass. And you know what? We'll do this in our reviews and why not do this here as well? And I'm going to be giving you the answer right away to not waste your time. And we can just go into discussions after we're going to get an answer. So the answer whether Game Pass is actually worth it or not, the answer is this. Well, yes, if you are playing both on Xbox and on PC and you care about Microsoft exclusives. And it's less worth it if you're playing only on a console or only on a PC. And it's less worth it if you're playing only on those consoles and you play online. I know this might sound a bit confusing, but let me just explain all of the points. Oh, by the way, and if you do like when your time is not wasted, hit that subscribe button because yeah, I am here to not waste your time and you are here to get as much info as you can. Anyway, thanks for being here. Now to the video. So when you're buying a Game Pass, you actually have three options to buy. Well, there are actually four Microsoft subscriptions that you can buy, but the fourth one is Xbox Live Gold. So we're not going to be discussing that one as deep. So let's get to the Game Pass itself. So when you go to Microsoft website, you're going to have three different plans. First is a Game Pass for a console, which will work only on your console or only on your Xbox. There is Game Pass PC that will work only on a PC. And there's also Game Pass Ultimate that will work on both PC and on your console. So basically you are buying both for one price. At first it seems like there's not much of a difference between them except for the platform, but it's actually not true. There are some significant differences that you need to understand before you're gonna get any one of them. First is the console version because console game pass is probably the least valuable game pass plan that you can get. It will cost you $9.99 or $10 per month and contains usual Game Pass library. And yeah, the library is being updated all the time, every single month. You're gonna lose some games, it's usually not big games that you will lose, and you will gain new games, and you're gonna gain X, and you're gonna have day one access to the Microsoft exclusives, or by the Microsoft, not console exclusives, like console and PC exclusives. But it likes two very big and very important things. First is, it does not have access to an EA Play. So EA Play is an EA subscription model that contains all the EA games, like your Battle feels, your Mass Effects, your Dragon Ages, and bunch and bunch and bunch of great games. But on a console, but if you're gonna get Game Pass for console, you're not gonna have access to that, which is a huge shame. And only way to gain access to EA Play on a console is through Game Pass Ultimate. But the second thing lacking on a Game Pass for console is even bigger, and it is the lack of Xbox Live Gold. So that basically means that if you're gonna get only Game Pass for consoles, you are not going to have access to the online multiplayer on your console. You will need to buy Xbox Live Gold separately, which costs $9.99 as well. So basically, if you want both Game Pass on a console and Xbox Live Gold, you will need to actually pay $20 per month, which does not make sense because of a Game Pass Ultimate, which we're going to talk about in a second. Now, let's quickly discuss PC, which is a bit better option. Well, first things first, you don't need Xbox Live Gold because on a PC, multiplayer is not paid. Multiplayer is free, which is great. By the way, PC Game Pass also costs $9.99. And PC Game Pass also includes EA Play which is an amazing deal. So this way, if you're a PC player, Game Pass is actually much better value here. And you actually have a bit different library compared to consoles because here you have access to a bunch of different PC exclusive games like different RTSs like Age of Empires or even Dyson Sphere program and all different Paradox games you have access here as well. So PC Game Pass is actually much better value than the console one. But there's also Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate is kind of like a mix of these two. It is available both on PC and console. Basically, if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you will have an access to both game libraries on both platforms. Plus, you have access to the cloud games, which I don't have because I don't play on a cloud because I'm very far from any cloud servers, so I don't even try that. But if you are in US, you have access to the cloud gaming. It also includes EA Play both on console and on PC, and it also includes Xbox Live Gold on a console. So it basically includes everything that you need, but it also costs $14.99 or well, $15 a month. All of them have more or less same library, well, depending on the platform, of course, because some games are not available on PC, some games are not available on a console. They all have same day one releases, and they also have an exclusive discounts for the games that are in the Game Pass and also that are, that are not available on the Game Pass. So you basically gain a lot of different benefits there. So if you're about to choose which Game Pass service to buy, well, it's no brainer. It's 
Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate is the thing that Microsoft is trying to push you towards. Yes, it is the most expensive one, but it also is the best value, especially if you're on a console. If you're playing only on PC, it's yeah much less value for you because if you're playing on only on a PC, you usually don't want access to the cloud gaming and you also have an EA Play and you also don't need Xbox Live Gold. So if you're playing only on a PC, PC Game Pass is actually a pretty great deal for $10 a month. But if you're playing on a console, Yep, getting console game pass does not make any sense. Not having Xbox Live Gold and not having the ability to play online, it's a huge disadvantage. And I don't know why Microsoft is doing this. Well, I understand why they are doing this. They are, they want to push people more towards Ultimate, but yeah, this kind of is not very consumer friendly, I guess. If you're on console, it only makes sense. The only rational uh, uh, subscription that you can get for the game pass is Ultimate. And if you have both, well, it does not make sense getting PC uh, separate, PC Game Pass separately and Ultimate Game Pass separately. You just need to only want. So Game Pass Ultimate is, well, the only thing that you can do. But I'm pretty sure you're going to have one more question. What about the games? Are games any good there? Well, that's the thing that is completely subjective depending on who you are and depending on what you play. But I'm, I'm going to give you my opinion on that, but you can state, but you can base your opinion on whatever you want. I think, in, in, in my opinion, Game Pass has the best that Xbox can actually give to you. And PC Game Pass has also pretty good selection of the games. They are not the best just because Xbox and Microsoft themselves do not have as amazing exclusive library as, well, let's for example, Sony has. Sony has Sony exclusive library, I think, is much, much better. But that doesn't mean that it's bad on Xbox. Well, it is not. And what's most important, Microsoft is not trying to hide them behind the paywalls. It is all of the exclusive games will be available on a day one on a Game Pass, which is an insane deal. So if you're buying games very often, like buying $60 games on Xbox quite often, well, it's actually going to be a pretty good deal. Plus, with the purchase of Activision Blizzard, the biggest games, biggest games of Activision will most likely be available on a Game Pass pretty soon as well. And I'm talking about mainly about Call of Duty series. And when those games will be available on Game Pass, well, yeah, Game Pass will become even more valuable for a lot of different people. Do I think that there are great games available there? Maybe not great, but not, not because, not because Microsoft is not putting them there. It's just because, yeah, Xbox exclusives is are weaker than, for example, Sony's or even Nintendo's. They're good, they're pretty great, but they're not amazing. So the question is this, will I be will I be continuing my Game Pass subscription? Well, actually, yeah, I will. I've played a ton of great games because of the Game Pass subscription that I would probably not even check out or buy myself. And I'm thankful for it. And I think you should too. But if you don't think that it's a great purchase for you, well, at least try the well, trial because you can get first month or I think the first few months for around a dollar per month. Get it? Test it. If you liked and enjoyed it, well, use it. Yeah, continue using it. But if you think that you're going to be playing like once in a while on uh, Game Pass games, well, don't buy the recurring subscription. Don't get the recurring subscriptions. Get Game Pass when the great day one releases will be released. Play them and then, well, not continue your subscription. It's actually much, at least, at least it's much better than paying $60 for games. What do you think? Game Pass is great or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one and I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.